Hey, this is Dr. Dan Purser, danpursermd.com. I'm gonna start a new video series, here it is. It's things your doctors tell you that may be wrong, that they commonly believe. I call them doctors old wives tells, or things they don't tell you that they should be telling you. So today we're gonna to do breast cancer worries. Ever since I started practicing medicine more than 30 years ago, doctors have been telling their patients that progesterone causes breast cancer. It does no such thing. There's no studies that show that. There's nothing anywhere that shows that progesterone prevents breast cancer. Natural progesterone reduces your risk by, for breast cancer by almost 500 plus percent if your level is high enough. That's a 1981 American College of Epidemiology study that came out. It was a big review article that showed a 500 plus percent decreased risk of breast cancer overall in women who had normal or high levels of progesterone and a thousand percent decreased risk of overall cancer. That's an amazing statistic. So I use natural progesterone all the time, which is a ton of different patients in a number of situations. And it's a great product, it helps you sleep, it gets rid of hot flashes, night sweats, it reduces your risk for breast cancer, reduces your risk for clots and strokes, and it keeps your hair thick and full, your bones hard. It just does a lot of good things for you. I've had a number one book on Amazon off and on for the last 10 years on progesterone. It's my little progesterone book. If you want more information, look for that. Birth control pills do not cause breast cancer. Well, that's what doctors say. That's wrong. Birth control pills in almost every study ever done that I've ever seen show at least a 220% increased risk of breast cancer in women who take them. If you've taken birth control pills and you're prior to age 18, you then have a 500 plus percent increased risk of death from breast cancer for your entire life thereafter from taking birth control pills. That's crazy. That data has been suppressed here in the US. It was in two Northern European studies that were really well done and it's been well documented in Europe, just not here in the US where big pharma rules. Don't take birth control pills if you have a high risk for breast cancer. I never prescribe them anymore. I tell most women other options or a copper IUD or something else so they don't get breast cancer. It's just a killer. Doctors say that the marine IUD does not cause breast cancer. It actually does. New studies have come out that show that it indeed causes breast cancer at the same rate of birth control pills, which is 220%, which is why birth control pills always contain a package insert. That's because that's informed consent on your part and you can't sue them for all the things that they say and they read your package insert. No one ever reads it that tells you about breast cancer, strokes, everything else that the birth control pills cause at a really high percentage rate, 220% increased risk for, for breast cancer with birth control pills. The Marina now we know is the same thing. I would not advise using the Marina. I would use the copper IUD if you got to use an IUD and take lots of natural progesterone if you have issues with PMS, hot flashes, night sweats, or heavy bleeding. Doctors say all the time that estradiol, when given orally, causes breast cancer. It's wrong. 17 beta estradiol, at least the natural form, 17 beta estradiol, which is the natural form of estradiol, and the only kind I ever prescribe, actually reduces breast cancer risk by 30%. So I post the study here, please look at it, and you make your own determination. But I give estradiol because it's what makes a woman a woman, it's what keeps her a woman, it's what keeps your bones hard, it reduces the risk for strokes, heart attacks, and diabetes, which topical estradiol will not do. So consider estradiol and look at the studies. Doctors say all the time that progesterone and estradiol cause breast cancer because breast cancer cells often will have progesterone receptors or estradiol receptors. That's not a cause and effect thing. It doesn't mean that the estradiol or the progesterone caused the breast cancer. They just happen to have receptors like the cells they were formed from do. Adding progesterone postmenopausally or estradiol postmenopausally does not increase your risk for breast cancer. Neither one do. They actually decrease your risk for breast cancer. It's a reasoning problem, not a causation problem. When women I know get breast cancer 
and even if it's progesterone receptor positive, I usually tell them to take more progesterone because it causes apoptosis of the breast cancer cell. Go to PubMed, look at all the articles. You can search apoptosis, which means to pop a cell, apoptosis and progesterone, and look at all the thousands of articles that'll come up and show you that Progesterone causes apoptosis of breast cancer cells. This includes my series on breast cancer worries, weird things doctors say to their patients, or crazy things doctors tell their patients that aren't always accurate. I call them crazy doctoral wives tales. So this is Dr. Dan Purser. God bless and go in good health.